Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are all of you beautiful people today? You're happy whatever time of the day it is, whatever day of the week it is for you. Whether you're watching this video day it comes out, two days later, two days before, I don't know, you do you boo. Today is going to be another video about meals that I like to cook and that you guys wanted to know the recipes for. So today I'm actually gonna make the easy keto taco casserole. This is one of our favorites and it's so simple that it'll be a breeze for you guys. So I got the recipe from once again Pinterest but it's from the website, it's called wholelottayum.com and there are a ton of really good recipes on that. So just to give you guys like a basic overview of everything that you're gonna need, you need two pounds of ground beef, you need 16 ounces of cottage cheese, you need a cup of salsa, you need three tablespoons of taco seasoning and a cup and however much cheese you want. So for a while I would follow the recipe like to a T. I did not wanna mess this up anymore, however, I kinda make it how I wanna make it. So I don't use sugar-free taco seasoning in my recipe. I actually make a homemade taco seasoning. I use ground cumin, chili powder, garlic, and onion powder. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you guys how easy this recipe is. So if you guys decide to make the homemade taco seasoning like I usually do, best practice is going to be like use a fourth of a teaspoon and be very aware of the difference between a teaspoon and a tablespoon because that is going to make a big difference. Be cautious. Can you guys tell that that is from experience? Because it totally is. Pardon me. This is slowly becoming my favorite and it kind of makes me nervous. Because my favorite was Dr. Zevia. But now it's the ginger root beer. Okay, so obviously one of the first things that you're gonna do every single time you start cooking, you're gonna set the oven. You're gonna set the oven to 375 Fahrenheit. I do not know how to translate that to Celsius, so good luck. Okay, so now that the oven is a cooking, you're gonna cook the ground meat. Two pounds. Cook it. Now the directions say it should only take about five minutes to cook it. We shall see. So this is a recipe that I've been making for quite a while and so I've taken a lot of liberties with it. Now, I do what I want. But that's the fun adventurous part of cooking is you kind of turn it into what you want it to be. So don't feel like you have to follow this recipe exactly. When you get comfortable enough, kind of test out maybe adding more of the chili powder. Maybe you want it a little bit spicier. Maybe adding more of the taco seasoning, adding more of the cheese. You just kind of make it yours. In another container, we're gonna start adding and mixing together all the rest of the ingredients, which includes the cottage cheese, the cheese. It's one cup in the beginning because you gotta put cheese on the topping once we're all done. So only put a little bit in the filling. You'll add more later. Don't panic. Got all of my stuff over here. We're gonna start adding it into a container. We're gonna mix it all up. When the meat is done, we're gonna add the meat to that bowl, mix it up again, put it in a casserole dish, put it in the oven. That's it. Such a simple recipe. Anybody, guys, anybody, look at me. Anybody can do this recipe. Now guys, when you start cooking, please make sure you do yourself a favor and make sure that everything is not expired and doesn't have mold on it. Mistakes can happen. Like I said, make the recipe something that you like. If you wanna add more of something, add more of something. Who's stopping ya? Yeah. 
So I know last time we did one of these videos, we talked a lot about my tattoos and my love of Lord of the Rings and my love of Disney. But beyond that, like what else do I do in my free time? So in my free time, I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing. Now this is a new thing for me. This is not something that I've been into since the beginning. I always thought that this was like just a dumb little game. It didn't look very interesting. It was like a little kid kind of game. I'm pretty sure it is a little kid game, but I really like it now. I think when I first played it, I think I was sick. Not six. I was sick. I was not feeling very good and Nate had just gotten the game and I had nothing better to do. So I obsessively played for like three months. I have since cut back and I only play it like six out of the seven days a week on my lunch breaks when I'm working. Yeah. Break time. If you guys haven't had the chance, you guys should totally check out Real Breaking Nate and Jordan Fringe on YouTube. And also they have a podcast. It's called The Shadowless Podcast. It is so good. They now have a YouTube for The Shadowless Podcast as well. And it is just simply called Shadowless. All right, now we will drain the ground meat. I think it took about five minutes. I don't know. I was not paying attention to the clock. So some other video games that I play when I'm in the mood to play video games because that happens every now and again. Animal Crossing is like that easy game that you can throw on when you're like settling down or you're taking a break and all you do is like all I do really is I wander around and I pick up sticks and I pop balloons that are floating by and I have fossils assessed even though I've already completed my museum. I also play Minecraft and Overwatch. But I will only play Overwatch when my friends are playing because I am not good at it. When you guys are going to do something like starting a video like this, make sure you have all of the steps to the recipe before you start the video. Lesson learned. So unlike with the garlic parmesan chicken, you are going to want to spray the pan for this one. that over the floor because I will now slip and slide. So you're gonna add the casserole to the pan, add cheese on top, and you're gonna cook it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. I use the four cheese. I do not measure the cheese that goes on the top of my casserole. I just dump the entire bag onto the top of the casserole. And then most likely I will go back into the fridge and grab another bag of just regular mild cheddar and add that to the top of the casserole. So like I said before, this is your recipe. You add and you put in this whatever you want. If you want to add jalapenos to it, you add jalapenos to it. You want to use hot salsa? You use hot salsa. You do you. All right guys, we're done. Let's get it out and see what we got. Oh, oh, this looks good. Oh my goodness, guys. Check that out. That looks so good. It's definitely a little bit crispier than normal, but you know what? I kind of like it. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me, and I hope I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!